Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to share an event on Facebook. If you find it of any value, please hit that like button, it really helps me out. Now if you need this for the iOS or iPhone, skip to 25 seconds into the video, or keep watching. This also includes an Android device. Or if you need the computer guide, skip to 3 minutes and 32 seconds into the video. On your iOS device, open up the Facebook app. So on your Facebook feed, if the event has popped up, it's a good idea to hit that interested button. That interested button will alert all your friends that you're interested in an event, causing that event to show up on their news feeds. Next up, hit that share button. So up the top you can write something and then post it on your wall and that'll share it to all your friends. Or you can just press that share now button and that'll post the event without any message from you. The next sharing option is send in messenger. This option allows you to privately send out the event to specific Facebook friends and even any chat groups that you might be part of. Another way to share an event is to share it to your page. So if you manage some pages, then you can share it to the followers of those pages. So once again, you have the option of posting it with a comment or without your comment. The next option you have is to share it to a group. If you're a regular poster in one of these groups, it might be a good idea to post it in there. All you gotta do is just scroll and select it or search for it at the top. Now just be aware it's not against the group policies to be sharing things that have nothing to do with the group. Otherwise you might receive stern warnings from everyone in the group or be kicked off the group. So the last option you have is more options. If you click on more options, you now have the ability to send an invite via text message, email, or other social media apps like Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and others. And also down the bottom, you can see the copy. So you can even copy the link and paste it into another app that doesn't show up on this list. So I've clicked on WhatsApp. So now it's opened up my WhatsApp list. So you can go ahead and tick as many or as little people as you want to share the invite with. And then click on next down the bottom. So one of the last things you might want to do is invite people to the actual event page. So click on the event. Once you're in the page, you scroll down a bit and you'll see an area where it says go with friends. So you have the option to press invite on the right hand side to the suggested friends. Otherwise you can hit invite friends down the bottom and it'll bring up this page. You can click on invite to each person that you would like to invite and you can also add a little note at the top. Inviting them this way will result in them having a little alert next time they log into Facebook. Now one last thing you should do before you leave the event page is click going. This will show that you've locked it in and also help the admins organize the event. So that's it for the iOS and Android guide. Now we'll head over to the computer guide. And don't forget to smash that like button. I will go through sharing events from your computer. If this video is of any value, don't forget to smash that like button. Up the top in the search bar, search for the group that you want to share the event for. Once you're on the group page, search for the event. Once you have found the event, just change the status to interested or going. Now to share the page, click share. Now if you click share now, public, this will immediately share the event to your timeline. So all your friends will be able to see this. If you share the event by clicking on write post, this will give you the opportunity to write a custom message. So this is what all your friends will see on your timeline. The next share option is send in messenger. So this one's pretty straightforward. You just click on send on whoever you want to share the event with. And you can add your little custom message up the top there if you want to. The next share option is to share in a group. So if you're part of a community group or a group that will allow you to share events, you can share the event with all the members in that group. Now of course, this will only share it to the members in that group, not to your friends list. Now the next option is share to a page. Now this option allows you to share the event to a page you're in control of. 
So if you have a business page for example, you can share the event to all the members in that business page. And for the last option, share on a friend's timeline. This will allow you to share the event on a friend's timeline, not your timeline, causing all their friends to see the post. And lastly, if you'd prefer to invite your friends directly to the page, click on those two little dots and click invite friends. You can do a select all and click send invite, or you can pick them individually. Alright, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful and you can give me a thumbs up. Take care.